for a year. Could you tell us about this new initiative? Yes, so PERI is a European Union funded project. Um, it's a formal project, formal funding from the EU um, as part of their cooperation in science and technology action. And it runs for four years from 2014 to 2018. Um, there are over 30 member countries, I think, involved in it, represented in the, in the um, action. And the theme of the um, action is about new frontiers in peer review. So you can check out more information on the website, peer.org. Um, the, the stakeholders, in it, well, there are various stakeholders. So it's primarily a collection of researchers. Um, so these will be people who are editors in chief, but also senior researchers uh, in their institutions, but really with a collective interest in peer review as an, as an activity and looking for a fairly evidence-based approach to peer review. Um, the, the chairman once put it as opening the black box of peer review. That's a cliched phrase, but that's what it's about. My role in that as a representative of a publisher is to be one of the stakeholders in the um, in the project, so our role is to feed data from our journals into the project that the researchers can then go and do analysis on, and uh, they can come away with some conclusions. They'll, they'll have research projects, and really at the moment, the trouble with um, a lot of research that's going on into peer review is just shortage of data, actually. So it's a few journals doing it on a few bits of information from their own journals or it's a group of journals but there's nothing really on a large scale and I think the ambition of peer e is to make make that happen so getting data from large publishers uh, um, to uh, around peer review to feed into research projects that then come away and look at um, uh, look at uh, conclusions about peer review which can be implemented um, or can inform the way that peer review happens. That's primarily about journal peer review, but they're also interested in looking at grant peer review as well. Um, any examples of what kind of research are you doing or the group is doing into peer review, in, like the topics of those papers? Right, so one of the, uh, for me, the more interesting topics is about what motivates peer reviewers to do review, and there's a, a couple of groups working on this. Um, and there are some interesting models, mostly sociological, so looking at what is the behaviour that is behind a peer reviewer and how does that inform the choices we make about how we decide or how we encourage people to do a peer review. So if a peer reviewer is driven primarily, let's be really crass and say for financial gain, they're probably not going to get much from it because there isn't much financial gain in peer review. So the question is, do you make some financial gain to try and get peer reviewers to do it? So it's a fairly theoretical approach, um, but it's, interest, it's an interesting question, what motivates a peer reviewer to review? And I think at the moment there's a lot more, a lot more, there's, there's rather more information and data and research about why reviewers decline to review than what makes them review. Um, perhaps that's not quite the case, but that's, that's how it strikes me. And I think we need both sides of the equation. Um, one of the big issues about peer review is the, the assumption that peer review is in crisis because we don't have enough reviewers. So that leads people to ask, well, why, why are reviewers not reviewing? Um, so the flip side of that is, well, why do we make peer reviewers review? What, what incentives are there to make them review? And that goes back to what we were talking about earlier, about recognition, for example. For you, what has been your biggest takeaway or your learning experience working on this initiative for the past year? For me personally, I think one of the most exciting things is working with a group of researchers who've come from all sorts of different backgrounds and different contexts. So there's good representation in terms of discipline, a lot of economics, a lot of sociology, um, but also biomedicine, mathematics. Um, but all uh, and all across Europe, but all interested in this question of peer review and uh, and are there valid ways of improving peer review? Um, so I think often in my job, my day-to-day -day job, I can get fairly focused on one or two particular journals. But actually, this is a global phenomenon, and this is um, of interest to people globally. So I'm seeing that on a European scale. Um, and it's actually been really interesting for me personally to get the perspective of researchers and editors-in-chief um, outside of the, the areas that I normally work in. So that's been, that's been very beneficial actually.